this has been my third year uh, of applying to MBA programs. Uh, in my first year, I applied by myself, and uh, the closest that I reached to getting an admit was when I got waitlisted uh, from UNC. Uh, in the second year, I took help from a low-cost consultant, uh, but then again, the results were more or less the same. Um, in the third year, I I, I, I nearly spent a month uh, in researching about uh, all the uh, top tier consultants in India uh, and then finally I was able to zero down on Jatin. Uh, I took Jatin's help in applying to three colleges, the first one uh, being WB Gary School of Business, the second one being uh, Emory Goisweda School of Business and uh, Keen Fragler School of Business and the content that we created for these three schools, I also used it to apply to Smith by myself. Um, so out of these uh, four colleges, I have received results from three of them. Um, so from UNC Keen and Flagler, I received an admit. Uh, from Emory Goisweda, I received an admit as well as 50% scholarship. Um, from WB Gary School of Business, I received an admit plus 100% scholarship plus graduate assistantship uh, of minimum $15,000 uh, for the two years. Um, so yes, uh, I would say 100% strike rate for the schools from where I've received the results plus over and above that because I've received um, scholarships as well as graduate assistantships. Almost always rejected my initial drafts straight away. Uh, for a couple of essay topics, he even came back to me saying that, you know, you are not even addressing the essay question. And then when I thought more about it, I spent more time on it. Uh, that's when I realized that it is so true and it's, it's something that happens with a lot of candidates from the starting point up until the end point when the essay was finalized, uh, it, it appeared completely different. For the past two years, I felt that I completely misunderstood uh, what the admissions committee is really looking for. Tremendous help uh, both in, in uh, deciding and finalizing the content as well as the language even though uh, in the uh, in the since past two years i've been receiving the interview calls uh, but some of the answers and the way i approached the interview was completely different this time uh, some of the things that i thought that added value to my profile he straight away rejected it and he told me he he, he put he put in perspective as to what sort of conversation should a candidate have before he's about to submit his application with the current students or be the admissions committee and what sort of questions or conversation should a candidate have when he's actually in an interview and the two differ a lot. 